Today I'm going to be making some homemade Alfredo sauce. This is a vegan Alfredo, but you can substitute any of these items for the dairy version. So the first thing I'm doing is melting about two tablespoons of margarine in a saucepan. Now these measurements are guidelines. I'm going to try my best to give you measurements, but I just kind of wing it each time. So I have about two tablespoons of margarine melting. Then I'm going to add about a cup of the silk, half and half. Once the margarine is melted, I'll be adding that. I'm also going to add about a cup of this silk heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add approximately a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, maybe up to a cup. You can use any type of Parmesan cheese, but I really like the Follow Your Heart dairy-free Parmesan shreds. I think this is the best Parmesan cheese I've ever had, even over dairy. I think it's very, very good. And I'm going to put in a couple of uh, teaspoons of this. This is a vegan shredded Parmesan cheese. You can also use a dairy version. And I'm also going to put in some black pepper, salt, and garlic powder. I added about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and now I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to be whisking that around as I'm, as I'm warming this up on the top of the stove. And I have this at a low to medium heat. It's pretty low right now, so I'm going to crank it up to about a medium. But you do want to keep your eye on it. I'm going to add about a cup of the heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream or half and half, you can use milk. You can use regular milk, 2%, non-fat, whatever you have. It all works really well. Okay, I've added the half and half, the heavy whipping cream, the garlic powder, the salt, the pepper, the margarine, and now I'm going to put in some Parmesan cheese. I'm putting about a cup. But you can use more or less depending on how you like it. I also put about two teaspoons of the powdery Parmesan cheese here. And then I'm going to stir it all together and just let it thicken a little bit and that's it. It's done. I'm going to taste it and see if it needs a little bit more salt. Nope, it's plenty salty enough. I used about a half a teaspoon of salt, and that is plenty. So now I'm just going to let it simmer over a low heat, and it will thicken up, and then it'll be ready. And you can put it over pasta. I'm going to be putting pesto in mine and making a vegetable pesto Alfredo lasagna. I've showed that on my channel before, so that's what I'm going to do. But basically, our Alfredo sauce is done. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you try it, and I hope that you like it.